Well, it's a good safety shot from Mark Williams, but the bad news, obviously, look where the black's gone. Needs a black with a red and all the colours if he's to tie this frame. Be careful here, because cue ball can be right up behind the black ball here. So I don't know in this frame yet. Missed that by a long way. So, and miss. But he's got to get it safe. And that'll do nicely. He'll settle for that. I think if we push the red along towards the yellow, almost guaranteed. Wow. So. That's very careless. And a miss. Well, if Mark Williams can win it from here. This is a tough red to start. Beautiful shot. Oh. He doesn't need to do a lot with a cue ball in potting this yellow. Oh. He may leave Twelve. the black as a double, knowing Mark Williams, the way he plays the game. 16. He may take it out here. I'd be very surprised if he didn't play to move the black here. He hasn't again. <laughs> he keeps defying me. 21. He's leaving the double to the left middle. What a clearance this would be. What a clearance. If he misses this, he'd like to miss it thin and the black will go safe. Well, she has done. I can't believe the black's come so far across the table. Never in doubt. Terrific pot. Well, at this moment, Ronnie is always following one bad shot with another bad shot. Mark Williams won. That's an incredible miss after the opening red. The thing about Mark Williams, he'd missed that black as he missed the red in the previous frame. And the next time he comes to the table, he's just completely forgotten about it. He's the best temperament you know the game's probably ever seen. Wow, wow. lovely pop. Really. Oh, beautiful. Five he doesn't mind. Just and to let him slip the opening frame. Oh, Ronnie O'Sullivan oh, fights straight that. back. Wow. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Four. Shouldn't have any problem negotiating this and getting nicely on the colour. He's over hit it, has he? One. Just stopped in time. Beautiful cue ball. Reflected in. Well, what a time. Mark Williams won. To get that fluke. You may see Ronnie just hit this as hard as he can now. I don't see how you can play a soft shot. Yep. Trying to get out safe. Wow. That could have been a lot worse. Okay, there's a red to left middle, but that could have been easier. So he missed the black in the first frame. The knuckle closest to him. Forty-six. Safely in. He seems to have 52. regained his four frame advantage, has he? 54. Still have to make use of it though, and what a good yellow that was. Get his hand on the table this time. We'll have to make sure. For Ronnie O'Sullivan. Twenty-eight. 
22. Again, you can hear the gasp. <laughs> Huge kick there. That far jaw is causing these players so much aggro. 27. Can you see the red? And there's your answer. Over two minutes now. Yeah, he was in a hole there. You would expect that to cost him the frame. One. He should still get this red. Shouldn't be a problem. 31. Forty-four. Misses the yellow, but the contribution okay. is more than enough to win the frame. Oh, he just didn't catch that. Mark Williams. He stood up off it straight away there. One. Yeah, it's intimately got a kick there. And this now is Ronnie O'Sullivan at his freewheeling best. 70. 71. It's just sensational when he plays like this. For the black to the same pocket. Mm. Mark Williams, 20. Both players are realizing the importance of this final game. Eight. Nine. Twenty-five. At eight frames apiece, O'Sullivan plays the double. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Eight, eight, eight going into tonight. Frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan. There is the concession. What? A four-frame burst that is from Ronnie O'Sullivan. He trailed 8-4, but they go into tonight. Tied at eight frames apiece. Thank you, Seema. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the final session of this fabulous match. Oh. All right, that's an early test of queuing, and he struck out beautifully. Oh, look at the cue balls. The only red he could have left was the one he was playing. Knew he was going to have to pop. This blue. And two right in the middle of the pocket. Six. That red next to the black is available. Seven. Ronnie will be playing for that when he gets the chance. In fact, he's got on it straight away. 13. Now the black's only available into one corner, but getting this out of the way is a plus. 14. I was 21. on the other game, Stephen, so I didn't see too much of this match. Did Ronnie buzz this afternoon? He wasn't blistering best. I mean, there was a few misses in there, but... He seemed to be really up for the challenge, which impressed me more than anything. But it was very impressive. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 22. Sorry, 29. At the moment, Mark Williams has to somehow stop that, but that was, well, he actually went for the pot there, believe it or not. Now, where's that red going to finish? Got a good cue ball, but cannon the red over the middle pocket. One. I was just about to say that the frame gets a little bit scrappy. You would fancy Mark winning that type of frame. Six. Seven. Thirteen. A 
looked like we were going to be in for a bout of safety play. Nineteen. Twenty. Oh, it's gone wrong. Twenty-five. Mark Williams, twenty-five. Has he tempted Mark Williams into taking this long raid on? Dangerous thing to leave one. the Welsh potting machine a chance like that. I'm sure Ronnie had a chance to get back behind the black from the red the right side of the table. Yeah, again, another Five. clever shot. The way he played it, it was the only red he could leave. Six. Pretty much the only top player that would play that shot that way, just dropping it in dead weight. Eleven. Twelve. Nineteen. He's going to need one of those reds. That Twenty. The cushion. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. A chance of getting on that red. He can play over for the other one, but being a left hand will be interesting to see if he plays for the one nearest to him. He's going to need the rest for that. It's slightly off the cushion, whereas the other was a little more difficult. 34. And safely in. 35. We're looking at one of the best potters the game's ever seen. 42. 43. 43 and the frame. Doesn't matter about the Mark green. Williams. No big breaks in the opening frame, but it was a fascinating frame. And both players had chances, but what a long red that Mark Williams knocked in there. Paved the way. He's back in the lead. Nine frames to eight. Ronnie's break-offs were pretty poor this afternoon. He hit the blue one time. And another time brought a red up to the other end. Left Mark an easy opener to the left middle. Again, he's left a red out. I mean, he could play it very aggressively play for pink or black but he's decided against the pot completely and the containing safety shot well interesting little bit of useless information for you Ron he's using different chalk tonight than he was this afternoon and yesterday and I would hazard a guess because he had two miscues the new chalk apparently prevents kicks and bounces but you can be prone to the odd miscue with it No One. black available just yet, but might need a couple of shots before he can get into that position. He's already looking at it, as you can see there, glancing at those two reds by the black. And here he comes with the cue ball. And look at that. That one shot will open the game up for <laughs> Obviously, the black doesn't go past the other red into the corner, but Five. it's certainly clearing things. <laughs> what an aggressive shot that is. Great chance now. Twelve. Just got past being straight in the pink. So able to come down, hopefully, there for the red that's next to the black. May not have come down far enough to play it this time. 18. 19. Just over hit that. But the blue will obviously be respotted right next to the pink. It's 
got to go as close to the pink without touching it. But sometimes 24. when they're so close together, it's difficult to see which one will go. 25. Well, that's cleared the blue spot area. 31. Oh. You know what, Dennis? I was yes, just going to say, he didn't need to play 31. that red. He had the easy red to the left corner to stun across for the black, then play for that other red after. That red was missable. He didn't have to play that then. One. Look at this situation here. Play the red over the left corner. This is That's missable, that red. He just felt he was curing so well that it was just uh, oh, a matter of fact. Yeah. But it's, it, it's not like that, the game. Every shot. You've got to put 100% concentration into it. Yeah, I still don't expect him to miss it. Eight. What a chance he's gifted to Mark Williams here. He wants that cue ball to stop. Mm, he's got the pink in the middle. And he's got the reds in perfect position. Can you believe it? Mark Williams, nine. One. Yeah, that was a real chance for Mark Williams to put down a, a deal, a real psychological blow in this session. Both the first two frames he's been in first, Ronnie Sullivan. That would have been a real, as I say, Seven. a real blow. That is a let off. Fourteen. Well, he's got a kick there. Okay, it was yes, hammered so with the red, 14. but it sounded like a heavy contact. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, it kicked and just threw the ball off line that time. What? So a chance that Mark Williams wasn't expecting. Wow. It's all happening here. Mark Williams won. Ronnie obviously with a big lead doesn't have to do that, but wow. One. <laughs> Dear me. It's amazing what's going on over the last few shots. Did he have to play the blue? Got a 36 point advantage. One, that probably a few times, but safely in. Eight. Nine. Looking at the scoreboard, the frame is secure. 15. 16. 18. 18 and a frame. So both players missing easy chances in this frame. And we're all square again. It's nine frames each. OK, well, let's see what happens back to Dennis and Stephen. Not much else he could do there, only send that red up the other end of the table. Just taking the opportunity to clear the black spot area. length of the cue ball there. He did have a go at the double, but safety was his main concern there. 
Well, that certainly opened the Reds up. One mistake could prove very costly. And this is an attacking shot he's taking on here. That was a very difficult pot he took on. He was always going to cannon into the Reds. What a tricky little black he's faced with, but if he knocks this in, what a chance. And he took a big risk, Mark Williams, and it could be very costly. Nine. Sixteen. Ronnie hasn't been in front. Twenty third frame is all Mark Williams. Twenty five. Thirty one. Thirty-two. Thirty-eight. We went two-one, so this is a great opportunity. Thirty-nine. You think how he does get 44. his nose in front again? Will he step up a gear and really put the pressure on Mark Williams? Forty-five. Fifty-two. But he just and keeps on throwing in 52. these unexpected misses for some reason. Just when you think he's you know starting to get into flow. Yeah, you've seen him mouth himself so bad. One. Now what can Mark Williams do here? Seven. Because he would have thought the frame was over. Eight. The only difficult red is the one just near his body now on the cushion. Fourteen. Fifteen. Very quick indeed, as you can see, the average frame time. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. The best colour to move that difficult red. Well, two times this afternoon, there was a red on a cushion, and I kept on thinking what colour is going to use to move it, and both times he left the double. You'd have to leave the cue ball somewhere near the bluish to, to play the double this time. 41. 42. Oh, he's got the perfect angle on the black. This could be a frame winner if it works. He's left the double. I'm surprised. I'm surprised he had got the perfect angle there. He's done it twice today 49. as well. And he couldn't have put the cue ball in a better place, to be fair. 49. Mark Williams, 49. Oh. <laughs> what a Lucky. slice of good fortune that is. Well, how's your luck, Ronnie? Not going to need the difficult Six. pink. But the Eight. red that Ronnie missed in the middle pocket was an absolute sitter. 11. 50. 
20. Just roll the pink in or over. And it's in. 26 in the frame. Well, Mark what Williams. a frame for Mark Williams to steal there. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Mark Williams leading the 10 frames to 9. Well, Ronnie breaks off this final session of this match. It's been littered with errors from both players. And you, you can't, you wouldn't even say, you know, there's a lot of pressure out there, Dennis, because normally these two play their best snooker, the more pressure there is on them. But worrying signs for Ronnie, I would say, in this, in this match now, some of the mistakes wow. he's making. He did well to get the white out there, almost straight. And a chance to oh. bring the black into play here. Five. Five. Very attacking there. Mark Williams, five. Williams, Sullivan, six. If Mark goes to the mid session interval with a two frame advantage, he'll take some beating. Far from an easy chance, this. Seven. Twelve. Thirteen. Cleverly playing for the pink because he knows that's now going to go in the black spot. Never misses a trick. 19. You can see all those reds are covering 20. each other. Got a good angle on the pink here. And within one shot, he's developed most of the reds. 27. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Forty. Forty-six. Beautifully played. Forty-seven. The perfect angle on the pink. One more red and a blue would be enough. Fifty-three. Where's the cue ball? Where's that white going? Oh, it was going in the pocket. 54. Frame safe now, you would feel. Seventy-one. Ninety-seven. One hundred and four in the frame. On your side. Of First part is to get a good break off. Average frame time: twelve minutes and twenty seconds. 
Ronnie now down to 16. In his first match, he was at 13 seconds against Tep Chow. Best of five to get into the semi final. I mean, Mark Williams, I think, would love just to have three or four scrappy frames. So I'm sure he would come out on top. Mm, pretty good safety shot. Oh, this might be a half chance. It obviously goes. Key early shot coming up. It's there, right in the middle of the One. pocket. It's the last thing that Mark Williams uh, wanted to see. Beautiful. No. It's a red at the bottom of the pack that will go to the right corner, but it's just finished too straight. 16. Yeah, he's just getting up and they just make sure he's got the pot and point. Mm, whoa. 17. Wow. He was a long way off the pot. <laughs> I think Mark's face says it all there. Twenty-five. Uh, this next shot will certainly open the reds up. He could have done with a slightly 32. better angle. It's a bit of a cutback now. That's the only 30. problem with that shot. Controlling the cue ball when you're hitting the other reds. Difficult to judge it. That's wonderful cueing there from the side cushion. Forty. It's amazing though, this, all this started from that containing shot that whenever you play a containing safety shot, you, you presume you're not going to leave anything. 49. It's the thing with Ronnie O'Sullivan, you can leave him very little at the table, all of a sudden, three or four minutes later, he's got everything in the open, the frame's virtually won. 55. Gone wrong. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 61. Oh, a little thinner, and it would have been right down the table, but it's not bad. Oh, but that's terrific, too. Oh. It's the brown. Anything that could get him up past the blue spot area. Five. Six. Any color will do. Eleven. Twelve. Nineteen. Twenty. Very solid frame played by Ronnie O'Sullivan. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. It's been a very professional frame of snooker. Thirty-four. Exactly what you need 35. at this stage of this match. That's a very high pot success. 42. 45. 47. Mark Williams has scored just five points in the last two frames. 50. We always talk about momentum. 54. That's definitely where Ronnie O'Sullivan at the moment. 59. Beautifully played positional shot there. He's not going to bother with the black. 59 and he had a break of 61 so 65 with the aid of a fluke. There's no fluke about clearing the remainder with a break of 65. 
Not the best break-off shot from Ronnie there. Mm. Missed that by a long way. One. Just a little bit of a concern Six. for Ronnie, that red to the left of the black. We know how quickly he can develop that sort of situation. Seven. Mm, he didn't cast the pink full ball. How's your luck, Ronnie? May have won into the middle pocket, but Twelve. the pink's gone safe. Can he get through for the blue? Thirteen. I'm not sure if the black pops from that side, you know, where the red is at the moment, if he stopped the white there or somewhere near there. Yeah, the black pops, 19. and this next shot will clear those two reds. Oh, has it only covered each other? 26. Two possible plants there. This takes a bit of making, as you can see. Well, made it look very easy there. No thoughts of refusing that. It's just starting to fly at the right time of this match, Ronnie Sullivan. 32. 33. Well, he's had a century break and he's had two 60 plus breaks in the last couple of frames. 38. Thirty nine, forty seven, fifty four. Nothing his opponent can do about this. Sixty two. Just sit there and just hope. Sixty three. Very hard to stop. 70. 71. It's a treat to watch. Six, seven years ago, everyone was saying it's a young man's game. You've got to be in your 76. early 20s to win tournaments. These boys have proved 77. them wrong. Eighty-four. Eighty-five. Ron is the top player with centuries. He's made eight so far. He's 90. already made four in this match. 91. We've had 68 centuries so far, but look where the whites finished. 98. <laughs> what a shot. What 99. a shot. And there's another magnificent century break. 108, 111, 115, 120, 126. Magnificent. Superb effort and the from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Just at the right time, and now he gets himself where he just needs one more frame. Well, Mark Williams breaks off, and he'll be hoping it's not the last time. And just missed the double kiss there. Target is in behind the brown. This is a decent line. Ah, beautiful shot. Have to play with a loaded check side to avoid.
colliding with other reds when the cue ball comes up and down the table. So a lot of right hand side here. Yeah, it's just coming off the side and top cushion. That's a better choice of shot than the one he was going to try. Look at that for a shot. Beautifully played. What a safety shot that is. That's near the black. Has he got the red? Has he got it safe? I think he's left one for the middle pocket, one to the corner, so... One. It's just finished wrong side of the blue. Straight off the bat, so... A tricky little positional shot. Six. Hmm, just Seven. over hit it. Played it well, he hit it well. Just a bit too much pace on the cue ball. Mark Williams, seven. You could hear a big groan from Ronnie because he mishit that one completely, but he's had a slice of good fortune here. His temperament really put to the test there because that was a bit of good fortune to say the least. <coughs> that was just so difficult and he's made that one mistake. How costly will it be? But he was in, as you say, Dennis, an awful lot of trouble there. On the last three frames, two centuries, two sixties, Ronnie Sullivan's made, you would think, the wrong time to present him with a chance like this. Five. Six. Got the one over the pocket. Ten. Eleven. And removing this red helps 18. to clear the black completely. Ninety. Just looking at those reds, they're all sort of covering each other into both corner pockets. As you can see from that picture, so it's not a straightforward run to the winning line, especially 26. now that he's put the cue ball in that position. End of break. Ronnie Sullivan, 26. Yeah, the kiss on the yellow spoiled things there. Well, he's got away with that somewhat, although Mark, we know he does like a double. One. Oh. Just the snooker. Mark Williams, one. Has he left a gap? Surely not. This red goes to the right corner, I think. Yeah, beautiful pot. we will be hoping to that land in a colour, but if not, it'll be what, behind the brown. I think he'll take the brown on, try and get on the two reds near the pink. Well, I can't believe I've missed that pot, Dennis. I've actually nominated a safety shot instead of a pot. What's happened to me? Yeah, I can't believe it. Six. That's why you never won so many <laughs> tournaments. You were a bit too negative. <laughs> <laughs> 13 14 
the four reds are okay. They're all available into the right corner pocket. 19. Top one available into the middle. 20. He didn't place that in the best position to get to those reds. He's had to work a little bit harder, but as I said, there was one available into the middle. 26. He just wants to finish. 27. Right side of the blue. And that looks a little bit straight. He may have to play pink here. Two cushions for the choice of three reds. There you see them all lined up. Doesn't want to make contact with the first one though. I thought he played two cushions then. That can never happen. Trying to get in behind the yellow. Mark Williams, 33. Yeah, the pink to the three reds <laughs> was poor from Mark. Well, he, he almost missed that One. red. He potted it so thick, he, the cue ball had no pace in it whatsoever. He was playing for the pink to left corner. Mmm, he's overcut the black. But the red was a terrible Martin shot. Well, Ron hasn't played the best shot in the world. I thought he just stunned the cue ball, left it virtually where the red was, but he's allowed the cue ball to travel forward and it's dead straight in the black, which is no good. Bad contact. Wow. So Mark Williams would have gone back to his chair thinking Seven. he'd played his last shot. As we see the cue ball and the pink jumping around the table. <coughs> Ronnie O'Sullivan. Seven. Mm, he hasn't got the snooker and Michael have a go at this because the black's in the perfect spot. It's a free shot. Just overcut it. It's going to be an awkward one. The white's going to be close to the cushion. Needs good queuing this one. And that was far from easy. And there's a gap, I believe. Getting pretty tense out there at the moment. This is terrific for the neutral to watch. Lots of tension right down to the colours. What an exciting frame this is. This looks good if it misses the brown. Now, can he get in behind the black? There's an alternate safety shot, but and it's awkward queuing. So did you? Thank you. Foul. Oh, he, he just declared a foul on himself. He's touched the yellow. No one's seen it. All depends on the bounce here. One. Not the easiest positional shot, this. May come off three or four cushions here. Yes, yeah, slid off the first one. Eight. <clears throat> A bit pacey though. Seven, eight. No, he's okay. He could easily hit the black if he misses the yellow. Well, he's missed the yellow and doesn't want to leave a free ball. Gonna miss Ronnie O'Sullivan four. Sorry, I'll have to check that. One. He's got to check. It's close to being a free ball. You've got to be able to hit the ball on both sides. And Jan Verhaas will put a ball there. Go around, have a look, and if you can hit that full ball, it's not a free ball. It's very, very tight. Well, you think if it's a free ball, it's match over. Mm. Big decision, this. It's not a free ball. It's not a free ball. No. They're in line, the two reds with the cue ball. Let me just have a look from the other side. Very rarely have you seen this happen, but at such an important stage. It is a free ball. 
this one's sticking out a little bit out. That's close. Well, he now says it is a free ball. I can see from and, uh, better. It's marginal. I mean, Ronnie's better. having another look. And this one is sticking out. I think the decision is right. You know, that was a tough call for the ref, but I think he's made the Greenville. correct decision there. So two points for the green, but not the best angle on the yellow to get back for the green. He's come two. up a little bit short. Brilliant shot. He actually used the black to help the cue ball get around the angles. Obviously the blue was the danger, going in behind the blue, but that was a brilliant shot. Seven. Well, it's been a superb match. Terrific entertainment. 11. But Ronnie did come on very strong towards the end of it. Mark Williams has put up a great fight here. Hang on. When you're Hang on a minute. 11. He can tie. What was that? Well, I've never seen Ronnie Sullivan miss a shot like that for match ball. Incredible. What a respotted <laughs> black, Stephen. He wants that cue ball to stop. He wants that cue ball to stop. Well, what a, what a steal this would be. And if he pops the black after the pink, it will have to come back on the table for a respot. Absolutely amazing. We've got a respotted black. Ronnie yeah. can't believe that he's missed that blue. I think you know Mark is already in this championship. Tears. Tried to cut the black in off the spot. If he wins, if he wins the toss, black to right corner pocket. What a time this would be to cut the black in. He tried. It's not that bad. This is a very thin cut that Ronnie's faced with. Just make your mind up time. Wow, what drama. <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, Ronnie played the, the easy safety shot, but I'm sure he'd be worried about leaving Mark a double. Don't think that was a double attempt, not at that pace. Full length of the table. Couldn't be further away from the black, but where the white is, that's not going to be easy. But he is trying that. You can see with the side. Cushion first. And he swerved it straight into the black. Unintentional that. He was trying to hit it from behind. I tell you, having missed that easy blue, there's pressure on this black for Ronnie O'Sullivan to get this match over and done with. respect for each other. You don't see that very often. Ronnie O'Sullivan is so relieved. He beats the Welshman by 13 frames to 10.